lawsuit is filed challenging Ohio's school choice voucher program. Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us why the suit claims ed choice is unconstitutional. Advocates and several school districts, including Columbus City Schools, have filed a lawsuit challenging the state's ed choice voucher program. We believe that the ed choice vouchers are unconstitutional. Uh, we believe that um, uh, they harm uh, the students, they harm the, uh, uh, the taxpayers. The lawsuit claims the school voucher program is taking money which should be helping struggling districts. It also says the state is providing more money in vouchers than some districts receive in state assistance. The state's responsible for the common school system. If people want to go someplace else for their education, the state has a, uh, enacted laws to allow that. More than 60,000 students participate in the voucher program. Proponents say this is an attack on parents' right to choose the best school for their child. In almost within hours of the lawsuit being filed, the Institute for Justice, a group which has defended voucher choice programs for three decades, announced it planned to defend the state's program. It will be representing five families in the lawsuit. In a statement, attorney Keith Neely says every family should be able to guide the education of their children, regardless of their income or zip code. For years, Ohio families have benefited from the opportunity to give their children different educational options. This lawsuit would rip that away. Phyllis tells me no matter what the initial outcome in court, he expects this case will go all the way to the state Supreme Court. Looks like both sides have a long battle in front of them. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser. We reached out to the Department of Education, but right now a spokesperson says it has no comment on the lawsuit.